Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits. Find the limits when x approaching 4 for the function x squared minus 16 over square root of x minus 2. What we have to do now is to substitute the value of 4. So where we have 4 squared minus 16 and we will obtain 0 over square root of 4 where we have 2 minus 2 again we will have 0. So this is what we call the indeterminate form. So there are three types of strategy that we can use in order to solve this kind of situation. Number one, multiply by the conjugate. Number two, factorization. Number three, long division. So my suggestion for this type of question would be multiply by the conjugate and at the same time factorize the situation. So limits when x approaching 4 for the situation x minus 4 multiply with x plus 4 over square root of x minus 2. Do remember to multiply with the conjugate where we have square root of x plus 2. Next what we have to do is to expand the situation. So do remember only expand for one part. So in this case, I'm going to focus on the denominator. Limits when x approaching 4 for the function x minus 4, x plus 4 multiply with square root of x plus 2. So in this case, I'm going to apply the formula where we have a squared minus b squared because we are dealing with the situation multiplication of the conjugate to each other. So in here, the a is square root of x, where we have square root of x bracket square minus. In here, the b is 2. So here we will have 2 to the power of 2. So rewrite the situation. Limits when x approaching 4 for the function x minus 4, x plus 4, multiply with square root of x plus 2 over x minus 4 and we notice that we have a common terms so meaning that we can simplify the situation and finally limits when x approaching 4 for the situation x plus 4 multiply with the square root of x plus 2 now what we have to do is to substitute the value 4 so if we substitute the value 4 and we will have 8 multiply with Square root of 4, we will have 2. 2 plus 2, we will have 4. Limits when x approaching 4 for the function x squared minus 16 over square root of x minus 2 and the value of y will be approaching 32. Kindly focus on b. So find the limits when x approaching 3 from the left for the function modulus of x square minus x minus 6 over x square minus 3x. So before we begin the discussion, kindly focus on the modulus. Based on the definition, where we have the modulus of x square minus x minus 6. So the definition would be x square minus x minus 6. And the domain will be x squared minus x minus 6 greater or equals to 0. For the second part, where we have a negative bracket, x squared minus x minus 6. And the domain will be x squared minus x minus 6 less than 0. So here we have the definition. Next is to focus on this part, where we have x squared minus x minus 6 greater or equals to 0. So based on the situation, now we already move into the inequalities. Factorize the situation greater equals to 0. Since this is a simplest form, so we have to determine the sign. So where we have a positive sign. Next, what we have to do is to split the situation. And do remember, whenever we split the situation, we must assume it is always positive. So x greater or equals to negative 2, x greater or equals to 3. Kindly illustrate the situation in a number line. And we have 
negative 2 and 3. So then circle towards the right, then circles towards the right. Kindly fill up the empty space with a negative sign because we are dealing with a positive real number line. So multiplication of the sign, we have negative, negative, positive. We have a negative, positive, then we have a negative. Finally, positive, positive, and we have a positive. So our focus will be on this part. Due to the sign that has been selected, which is a positive sign. The answer will be negative infinity until negative 2 union from 3 until infinity. The situation will be absolute value for x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 is equal to x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 with the domain x less than equals to negative 2 or x greater equals to 3. Next we have a negative bracket x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 for the domain x is greater than negative 2 and less than 3. So kindly illustrate the situation in a number line where we have negative 2 and 3. So kindly refers to the function if the situation is x is less than equals to negative 2 so the function would be x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 followed by in between the negative 2 and 3 we will have a negative bracket x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 so finally we have x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 when the situation is greater and equals to 3. So now kindly focus on the situation. Kindly substitute the value 3. So if we substitute the value 3 and we will have 9 minus 3 minus with the 6 and we will obtain 0. Over if we substitute 3, we will have 9 minus with the 9, again, we will have 0. So this is what we call the indeterminate form. So there are three types of strategy that can be used in solving this kind of situation. Number one, multiply by the conjugate. Number two, factorize the situation. Number three, long division. So for this type of question, my suggestion would be factorize the situation so kindly focus on the question limits when x approaching 3 from the left where we have the situation modulus x square minus x minus 6 since the question state that 3 from the left so what we have to do is to focus on the 3 especially the left hand side so we can define the situation as negative bracket x plus 2 multiply with x minus 3 over x multiply with x minus 3 notice that we have a common terms so meaning that we can simplify the situation and we will have limits when x approaching 3 from the left for the function negative x plus 2 over x kindly substitute the value and we will have a negative 5 over 3. So meaning that limits when x approaching 3 from the left for the function modulus of x square minus x minus 6 over x square minus 3x and the value of y is approaching negative 5 over 3. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.